Planning your summer vacation once, sum once summer has already begun? Hmm, it might not be an easy thing to pull off, but there are some tips and tricks when it comes to snagging a last-minute deal. Uh, Katie Nastro is here with us to share some ideas on finding last-minute bargains. She's a spokesperson for the Travel Deals website, Going.com. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, you think, uh, like, we're already kind of like almost July now. I mean, come on, get it together, people. But it's not too late. You know, we lead busy lives. Yeah. So for some of us, we don't have the luxury of, of checking the flight prices all the time. But, you know, that's okay because some of us have the flexibility to be able to kind of let the deal be their guide. Mm. You know, the world is your oyster. If you are prioritizing just finding a cheap flight this summer, then, you know, there's dozens of options. Mm. But a lot of us don't travel like that. We have a bucket list destination in mind or somewhere we want to get back to. We haven't been in a while. Mm. So for those folks, I would definitely recommend if you haven't booked travel yet, target the last two weeks in August. Mm. You could save up to 40% versus traveling in the middle of July when everybody is looking that way. I that's a lot. I, I yeah. always figured, though, that the last two weeks of August would be difficult because we're getting close to Labor Day and people just want to get that no, last No, but all and... the parents with kids, oh. they're like, we got to get ready for school. That's we right. can't go You're anywhere. You're right, because I actually, my sister, I said to my sister, we're taking, because I'm going to be on paternity leave, like, we're going to take some time, probably go to Anguilla or something in the last two weeks. She's like, I can't, because yeah. I got the kids going back to school. Yeah. And that's not, crazy. Yeah, and not every school operates on the same system. I was going to so say. Some people, you know, some kids are going back to school mid-August. Yeah. You know, so demand starts to ease, and with that, some prices come down, and that's, mm. that's really great. I like that. Uh, all right, so uh, how can people snag the best possible deals, both domestically and internationally? Sure. So we like to talk about something called the Greek Islands trick. This is for international. Okay. So basically the concept is you're looking for you're looking to get across the ocean as cheaply as possible uh -huh. and then taking, you know, a quick budget flight or an alternate means of transport to get to that final destination. So for example, say you're looking to go to Mykonos, one of the Greek islands, but geez, flight prices right now are so expensive from New York to Mykonos. But maybe you could fly into London for a fraction of the cost and then take a budget flight to Athens and mm. ferry to Mykonos or, you know, kind of build your own itinerary that way, saving hundreds of dollars mm -hmm. in effect. Getting to the same place, but just being a little bit flexible That's in how smart. you do so. But, but I, I, it's what you were saying earlier that I think is intriguing and I'm, I'm surprised that more people don't do it this way, which is to say, hey, we, you know, it's easy to go to Paris, which is the most visited city on, on planet Earth or Rome or something, but like, let's find an out of the way place that people aren't thinking about. Like, yeah. let's go to Nepal or, <laughs> well, you know what I mean though, Listen, right? I, yes, I do know what you mean, but for some people, Nepal is not a vacation plan. <laughs> <laughs> that is a heavy lift. Madagascar. So she's saying if you're a little more open-minded, if you're a little more open-minded, Destin, Sheboygan. Florida is a great <laughs> no, place. I love Sheboygan. Or, I love you know, <laughs> like it's right. So let's talk domestically. How do you get, you know, aside from just having an open mind about where you go, or maybe sure. that's a biggie. Yeah, you know, looking at alternate airports to get to that destination, but also, you know, a lot of us might be sitting on points due to credit cards that mm. they, you know, racked up yeah. during the pandemic and don't sleep and think that you should just be hoarding those for business and first class. Well, you can and there that's great. You know, <laughs> look to economy deals. You know, when cash prices are high, you can often get the best value for your points and miles uh -huh. during that time period. So last minute during a peak season like summer, Definitely a time to to look and consider points and miles for finding last there, deals. So let's so let's flip it. I talked about sort of unique exotic places internationally. What are people missing when we think about here at home? Like I think everybody thinks Florida or you know Texas or California or even like places like Montana and right. But what is what is a state and a, maybe a, an area of the country beyond the Grand Canyon and Disney World that people are perhaps missing? So I spent two years in Charleston, South Carolina, Ooh. which is always, you know, touted as an amazing place to visit, and it is. However, if you drive two hours south, there's amazing coastline, beaches, mm. beautiful. You can get to Savannah, which is another really lovely place. Mm -hmm. Tibby Island in Georgia is also amazing. You know, so just because a lot of places are, you know, kind of touted as, you know, bachelorette or, you know, travel here with the kids, expand your mind a little bit and do a little bit more research and those kind of hidden gems can actually end up being some incredible vacations. I think that's, that's great advice. Cool. Hey, yeah. I like upstate New York. Yeah, upstate New York's glamping. great. I know, yeah. You, the you Finger know, Lakes. Yeah. The Finger Lakes are amazing. Beautiful. And it's true that I think if you, if everybody took the time to sort of 
focus on one state that you've never been to and think because every state will tout sure. here's the things that are yeah. great about our state you might actually find something that a lot of people aren't paying attention to or even you know look to our friends to the north and the south you know great deals coming out of Canada she's right Canadian now. she isn't like, we love that yeah. <laughs> very exotic up there yeah, they are very exotic <laughs> but, I mean, if you're outdoorsy you know syrup. Calgary <laughs> Vancouver you know there's dozens of options and cities as well uh, Katie thank you so thank much thank you Katie thank you so much it. for having me